being Lord of our lives. Continue this podcast. Let this podcast grow to even bigger than what it is now, Lord. And write this message, Lord, that was preached today, Lord, on the tables of our heart. That when we depart, Lord, it will not depart from us. And as we go our separate ways today, Lord, let us stay safe with this virus going on, Lord. I pray for the coronavirus that you, you, Lord, you dry it up at its roots and you get rid of it, Lord, so that we can have the ultimate, ultimate rejoicing. So we, so that revival can happen in this land, Lord, because revival, you told me, is going to happen in this land, Lord. So we thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord, that you are doing what you are doing, Lord, that you will continue to be Lord of our lives. I thank you and I praise you, Lord. I ask you, Lord, to heal everyone at the sound of my voice that not, no, give everyone, Lord, at the sound of my voice, everything their hearts desires that it not be what? Selfish. Not one of those, Lord, I want a 2020 car because I want one. Rather, I want a, I need a car to get to point A to point B. If you need a car, Lord, give them what they need, Lord. Even if it's just to go have coffee with a, with a friend after this virus is over, Lord, give them what they need, Lord. I ask you to bless them at the sound of my voice, Lord, that they get the things that they need, Lord, the things they also that they want, but not selfish needs and selfish prayers. I ask, Lord, to heal everyone from cancer, diabetes, other sicknesses like this coronavirus, Lord, and yes, AIDS, HIV, gonorrhea, syphilis, why? Because when you heal them from stuff that they've contracted themselves, Lord, and they've done wrong, yes. But when you, when you, Lord, heal them from those diseases, then it shows your mercy, your grace, and your power. And you, Lord, can then be witnessed to them by what they see. The Bible does say, blessed are those who have seen and believe, but blessed are those who have not seen but yet believe. So we thank you, Lord, that you are still on the throne, that you are still doing what you need to do and heal those, and heal those Lord, that need healing from sickness. I pray for this coronavirus to stop, cease and desist its assignment. Devil, you have no reign of authority over his people. The Bible says that you shall not touch my, do it says touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. So you have no reign and authority over his people. I ask you to cease, stop, and desist. And it's all in the precious name of Christ we pray. It's amen, amen, and amen. That's it, guys. That is our show for the day. Sorry, uh, Jan, Stacy, uh, you tuned in right at, towards the end. You can always go back to the re-record and listen to it as well. Some of this music will be on the Facebook Live, will be muted. But if it is, then I'll be doing it again tomorrow. Anyways, praise and worship like I always do. I'll at least try to. Can't promise everything, but... And it'll be on the actual Spreaker itself. So if you want a a link to the Spreaker account, or if you use Google, or if you're like an Android user or an Apple user, and you want those links as well, I got the Apple and I got the Android as well. So I got those avenues. You can you can uh, like, subscribe, and everything. But there's Spreaker, Android, Apple. I'm on Podbean, Podcast Addict. I'm on, what's the other ones I'm on? Uh, iHeartRadio and... Stitcher and all those great little places. Stitcher is like the biggest place for podcasters. So I'm on those as well. And be aware on the 27th, on the 27th, we will be having a guest speaker all the way from the Caribbean islands, all the way from the country of Dominica. So look forward to that. He has a, a worship ministry. We will we'll be chatting it up with him from the country of Dominica. Look forward to that. I'll be posting a link. Well, not a link, but I'll be posting a uh, a brief notice on Facebook so everyone on my Facebook can uh, look at it. Go to Facebook.com and look up Andrew Kusick, A-N-D-R-E-W-K-U-S-L-I-C-K, and look at the ad that I'll be posting for that as well. So he is all the way from the Caribbean Islands, from the country of Dominica, and we'll be chatting it up with him live on TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely come first. That's it, guys. That was our show for today. Hopefully everybody enjoyed what was going on and got something out of this. It was an improv to message. I didn't really have anything written or anything, you know, pre-planned like I usually do. But I just wanted to talk about the reason why God died, and not just because he had to, but because he loved us so much that he wanted us to be free from bondage and sin. 
And how many out there are in bondage with things? There are people out there in bondage to pornography, in bondage to, to drugs, alcohol, to smoke and cigarettes. Yes, that is a bondage. And don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect. I did smoke for quite a while, and I did pick up two cigarettes or so, the other uh, recently. But just because I did that doesn't mean that I'm not saved, that I'm not saved anymore because I didn't know. I repented of it. I asked God for the forgiveness, and I asked God to, to stop me from doing it anymore. But the thing is, somebody out there is always... People out there are always plagued with some kind of bondage. There's people out there right now who are in such bondage that they need they need Jesus right now. And that's why Jesus died because of, of that reason, to die for us to be free from the bondage of sin. So we can be free and so we can actually live a life that is full. How many out there live a life that is not full, that is, that is, that is what I call almost empty? There's depressed people out there who think that nobody loves them. But if they get a hold of the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, they can be loved by God. Like I tell people, if the only person in the world loves me is Jesus and God, then I'm a happy camper. I don't need nobody else to love me but God and Jesus. But if my friends do, then that's good. But if they don't, then I got Jesus and God on my side. And that's all there is to it. So that's it, guys. I am glad you guys can tune into the show today. And we, Jean, Jan Stacy is watching, like I said. And Jan, we'll be doing this again every Monday. Possibly there's going to be some music tomorrow on the actual speaker app itself. Going to the Apple and the Android and all the other little stitchers and iHeart radios and stuff like that. So. If you want to tune into those as well, feel free to like and subscribe to my podcast on any of those avenues and give me your give me some information. Question is, do you use Android or do you use Apple? Once you give me that information, when I get off, you can text it to me on the uh, messenger or use Apple or Android, and I'll give you a link to those as well. And there's a lot of things going on with the ministry. I mean, you could just look up on Google, go to Google.com and type in podcast about Holes in Your Souls was one of my episodes. And Google will automatically bring up a little section of podcast with that in there. So I'm also on the Alexa Media Players as well. Don't know how I got on there, but God's only the, God is the one who did it, and I don't need to know. But it's happening. So that's it, guys. That is our show for today. So like I said, feel free to give me your information, Jan, and we'll be talking afterwards about the different avenues I'm on, and you can like and subscribe to me for there. And I'm a little over a thousand people on Google right now. And uh, Apple's about half, half, uh, half of my listeners usually is from Apple, but this week it's been my Spotify. It's not Spotify, but my, uh, my Lavith. I don't even know what that is. Lavith and yeah, Spotify. I think it is. Yeah. Lavith and Spotify and Spreaker. So, Give me some information about if you're uh, Android or Apple, and then from there I'll give you some links as well to that. That way, if I ne- if I don't do a live per se, you can like and subscribe, then you can set your notifications so that when I do something on the show that's not on the Facebook Live, you can always tune into that as well because there will be special things happening as well on that as well. And for the rest of you that are out there, if you want to uh, give to the ministry, Remember, contact me at communitycloud222 at gmail.com, spelled C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D, 222 at gmail.com. Also, give me a call here at TGIF at 1-302-448-8443. Again, it's 1-302-448-TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely come first. And always, you can always use that number as well while I'm going live on the show. And you can call in, make comments, and do everything and anything you want to while you're on the show. Who knows, we might even get into a topic with you while you call us in. So give us a call, once again, at 1-302-448-8443. When you call in for the giving and the offering, make sure you put offering in the voicemail and offering in the subject line of the email at communitycloud222 at gmail.com. Once again, spelled C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D-222 at gmail.com. 
That's it, guys. We'll be seeing you all later. This is TGIF reminding you to, one, trust in the Lord in all your ways, two, lean not to your own understandings, and three, in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Thank you, and good night.